Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nash. There are many ROMs for OnePlus One, but when it comes to OnePlus Three, you will really have to be careful. So after having many problems with rejection remix from touchscreen to even fingerprint sensor, I really wanted a good ROM. So I flashed Lineage OS 7.1.1. One more reason to flash this room is that I flashed it on my OnePlus One and it gave me best battery life around all Nougat rooms. So this room is based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. And those of you who don't know, it used to be known as Synergy Mode which was most installed room all around the world. Is this room rooted? It is rooted but only half because only ADB can access the root and you will have to flash super su add-ons along with the rom if you want to have full root access and it's not that hard if you ask me because if you can flash rom then you can definitely flash super su from very first moment i could see amazing nugget animation implemented smoothly into this rom now let's talk about features customization is always been limited on synergy mode but don't worry because it has all the useful customization so first of all we have status bar customization you can put your clock wherever you want and change the battery icon and my personal favorite battery percentage you can always put battery percentage inside the icon or beside the icon and then we have quick setting customization you can add or remove any tile from your quick settings and there are not many tiles to add but you can always install third party apps and add more tiles Nougat actually gives an amazing feature called display density and same way you can change the size of fonts. And there is privacy guard and features like privacy guard makes the custom room unique. And with privacy guard you can actually stop some apps from accessing your personal information like location, your storage, your text information, your google account information and especially the apps like Facebook, Whatsapp and Instagram. This is the kind of feature I always want in every room. And there are some apps which you don't want anyone to open except you. And that feature is called protected apps. You can protect any app by pattern or password or even pin number. And up next we have gestures. You can draw a circle to activate the camera from lock screen or you can draw V to activate the torch. And I don't use that feature because sometimes the torch light is on in my pocket. And up next we have button customization where you can enable or disable on screen navigation. In button customization you can do anything, you can swap the buttons, you can assign them custom action, you can choose what will happen when you double tap them or when you long press them. And speaking of long press, Google now is working. It means that you can easily convert it to Google Assistant. And if you want to know how to do that, just click the i button. And one amazing feature I always wanted in my OnePlus 3 is to customize the alert slider. And that feature you can find in this room, where you can easily select custom actions for all the three positions. Now let's talk about camera. It has Snapdragon camera with tons of manual settings. And you can shoot the video in 4K UHD. Have a look at some photos I took. So those were features, now let's talk about performance and stability. The ROM is faster and smoother, even smoother than Oxygen OS. There is no graphical glitches, scrolling is smooth, the ROM performs extremely well. It means that ROM is using CPU and GPU at its full potential. RAM management is outstanding, no problems with fingerprint sensor or touchscreen or Bluetooth. Phone does not heat while charging. Speaking of charging, dash charging is available in the room. Only thing missing here is that it doesn't mention on lock screen that it's dash charging. It means that if you are using the charger from somewhere else, you won't be able to know that it's dash charging or normal charging. But for that, you can always install an app called Ampere. And don't worry about updating the room because OTA is inbuilt. I have been using this ROM for last 4 days, I never had a single F4 close or a random reboot. 
Now let me give you one major reason to flash this room is amazing battery life. I got around 5 hours of screen on time which I never had in any Nougat room, even in stock Oxygen OS. Now because I told you my battery life, you want to know my daily usage. I don't play heavy games. I just surf Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Chrome and most battery draining app called Facebook. Sometimes YouTube videos but most of the time I Chromecast videos to TV. And because I stay indoor for most of the time, my brightness level is always around 40 to 50%. So to sum up this video, I'm going to give this room 4.5 out of 5. So all cards are on the table. You know why to flash this room and you know why not to flash this room. And if you want to know how to flash this room and what to do before you flash the room and how to take full titanium backup, all the links will be in the description. And please like this video if you appreciate my efforts. And subscribe my friends because I make these kind of videos every day. And until next time, keep flashing my friends.